All right, it is at 810 right now, and an Oregon couple is hoping to help with one of the biggest challenges for parents, and that would be bath time. They started a subscription box business called Bubbles and Joy. Now, the goal is to make bath time something that your kids actually look forward to. Joining us live right now are co-founders Tyler and Emily Neese. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's it's been a few years since, you know, I, I had to uh, do the, the bath time routine with my girls, uh, you know, every night. And sometimes it was a struggle, I will say. So what I'm assuming that played a role in your inspiration to start Bubbles and Joy. Yeah, it really did. I think, you know, for us, like you said, it can really be a struggle. The you know, bath time can be getting everybody in the tub. And uh, we felt like it doesn't have to be if you have you know, the right products and have a way to make it fun. And so... That was really what kind of gave birth to the idea. Yeah, yeah. Anything to make things easier, right? And so, so what's the age range that, that you're targeting for this? Yeah, so I think, you know, we always say it's, it's anybody who likes to have fun at bath time. You know, it could be uh, 0 to 99, but <laughs> I think yeah. most of uh, the boxes that we want typically go from, you know, about a year to five or six, we say. Yeah, we, we also have a six and a half year old who basically <laughs> loves all of the things too so it's it's kind of individual okay yeah a bath a bather for life right she'll be taking these baths forever <laughs> so you guys sent us some of the products and we have them on the set it's a super cute box and it looks like a lot is included included so tell us about what all is in here yeah, so every box, so the one that you have right there is our uh, February box that just went out. And every box we really work to try to strike a balance between um, some bath products, some bath toys. So whether it's bubble baths or bath bombs and things like that, um, and everything is all natural. We look for things that are made from natural materials, ingredients, because uh, that's really important to us. And then the toys are all high-end toys that... Um, have no holes, so they're hermetically sealed so they don't grow mold, or they're toys that break apart so that you can clean them out, because I don't know if that's a frustration that you had too when you had um, your girls, but um, bath toys get moldy and gross and disgusting really fast, and so you always have to keep replacing them, and so um, that's something that we wanted to do with our box is include things that uh, don't have a short shelf life. Yeah. So. Oh, no. I, I remember my girls would just have, it was like a sea of dead Barbie dolls in, in the uh, <laughs> bathtub and they were all naked. And yes, they just, they would start getting gross because like soap would get in them or, you know, bubble bath. So that is a great idea. And also I remember, you know, uh, certain things staining um, that they're like the rim of the, the bathtub. So I'm assuming this stuff probably is, is all good when it comes to that as well. That's right. Yeah, everything is is easy to clean up. Either just you know by hand or with a washcloth or magic mm -hmm. eraser. It's just crayons and different products that you put in there just to keep yeah. it fun. And yeah, but none of, nothing's color dyes anything. We don't want to give you like a red bath bomb. That's right. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, everything will wash away when you uh, drain the tub. Oh, that's good. Yeah, no no glitter or anything. No, no uh, what's behind the idea with the subscription? Why a subscription box? Well, I think it's, you know, like you were saying earlier, we just found that, you know, at least in our house, we have to rotate bath items out. So, you know, like you said, whether you have like this, uh, you know, crime scene of uh, <laughs> moldy things <laughs> laying all over the place, or it's just toys that get waterlogged and then grow mold inside. Uh, so we felt like it was a fun way to make sure that you're rotating toys out, but also with the products and things like that, you know, use your, bath, your bubble bath or your bombs, you know, that there's more coming the next month. Yeah, and the subscription makes it easy for parents. I mean, we'll do we do the research and find the best things, and all you have to do is sign up, and then a box with new fun stuff comes every month. I love it. Yeah, it, it, they have something to look forward to. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Tyler and Emily. Good luck with the business, and, and have a good weekend, and hopefully uh, some good baths in your household this weekend with your six-year-old. <laughs> Thank you. And of course, we'll put the details uh, for their business on coin.com. Okay, coming up, Prince Harry gets the tour he never dreamed of. Late night host James Corden thought it was time to show.